Hello YouTube, Chief here with Chaotic Graphics, and I'm back with another video and an update. So the update first. Um, it's been a while since it's, I recently finished my um, episode three in my art series, and I've learned so much in my in my, um, in my personal work. You know, it's a lot of fun doing working on art and everything, and I'm enjoy, I'm really I'm really enjoying the process. And for those of you who haven't seen the video series, I hope you guys take a second to watch it and see what you guys think. You know, and see if it got your interest. I am um, I'm planning episode four. Which, which which should be pretty exciting. I'm looking forward to like creating new characters and new designs for your for your future eyes on. And I'm also looking to eventually include 3D printing in my art series, which I'm really excited about too. So if you haven't you haven't done so yet, feel free to watch any episodes of my art series. I have three so far, you know, and I've and I've learned so much, you know, creating all of them. So now for the fun stuff, what you see here in front of you is a desert eagle. Well, people, well, still not finished yet. I'm still getting the hang of um, the new features in ZBrush 4 8, which recently released. Um, it's called it was 4 8, which added like a lot of new features, a lot of new modeling tools that 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 are a godsend to people who are content creators, character artists, and prop makers, including those who are 3D printing. But my favorite feature is a live Boolean feature. If I turn this off right now, you can see the really you know, the really weird erector set kind of thing going on with the models. So without further ado, I want to show, I want to demonstrate, I want to take the time to demonstrate the power of this tool. So I'm turning all these off for a minute so I can show you everything. It's actually really fun for me that I created this tool. So, so what you see here is a simple cylinder. You know, there's um simple cylinder, no subdivision levels, which is great. It's all dynamic subdivisions, right? So I'm gonna work on the barrel and you know add detail to it, cut away detail, so forth. And to do this, in ZBrush 4 8, um, they um, they covered it in um in the live stream I on the live stream on YouTube the other day, and it is it was so much fun to watch that. I was my jaw was on the floor the entire time when I was when I was watching the stream. And as a dollar, I couldn't wait to get it myself. So let's go ahead now and try live William. That's it. Nothing nothing more to do, right? But wait, nothing's happening. That's because we have we have any tool any models yet. So let's say I want to cut a I want to cut I want to cut a hole or throw some detail in the cylinder. And yes, again, there no there no there's no um there's, there's no levels here. And also in, in the um live boolean, the old drawing tree is not altered. So let's save real quick. And I'm also using the uh, the default UI because um you can't see the bottom of my oh, my current my, my custom UI you can't see everything so I'm having it default. So let's say I want to cut, you know, the, the, the sight on the front of this gun. So I'll go ahead and turn, turn it on. The little square that I added on there, it also is subdivided dynamically. And by the way, too, if you see the little arrow button here on the sub tool palette, this indicates that this is the parent of the of the sub tools. I'll show you how that works in a minute. But right now, I want to cut a little thing at the top of the slice there. So I'll go ahead and turn on the um. This little button here, the little the little white and black circle, and that indicates the subtraction. By default, ZBrush operates in union mode. So if I turn, so hit the little button here, it'll cut into the geometry right now. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? And not only will this work on dynamic subdivision meshes, it also work if I go ahead and if I go ahead to my um, barrel and turn on the um, divisions. Let's just turn off. Let's just turn off the sub D. Let's turn off the um. That I'm sub D's. Oops. Let's uh turn off this for a minute. There, here we go. All right, so turn this off, and you notice how it still works. Look at that. And also too, it's not destructive, which means this 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 polygon tube here, mesh is un currently unaltered. It's only a preview of what it looks like when it's cut. Um, you can use this for decimated meshes, dyna mesh. So we mess meshes, it even models that are subdivided. So if I go like this, you'll notice how it's still it's still intact. You'll see the boolean there, but nothing happened. So let me turn this off because I'm not finished with the model at all, and I don't want to ruin my, my I don't want to ruin my, my work. So let's keep going. So now I'm going to go ahead and add the, the little cuts in there on the side there. And with this, I can add as many objects as I want and cut into this. This adds both loads of room for experimentation, which is great. I mean, without I mean, I made the same gun 
in another in a video episode in my series, um, episode one. And though, though it looked really good, I had difficulties creating all the detailed shapes this cleanly. I was surprised how clean this was when I but when I did a lot, did a live stream on Facebook with this. I was I was I was floored by the detail. So let's keep let's keep going. Let's, and by the way too, if you if you saw this if you saw this on Facebook, you saw it every real time. Um you also notice how they changed the gizmo key, the gizmos, which is a blessing. I'll probably never use transpose to line ever again, but this is something I've grown accustomed to over the years. So now we have our cuts in there, which is fantastic. I love this thing. It's like my favorite, my favorite tool I've ever used in a long time. And I've been using ZBrush since 2006, so I've been using it about 11 years now. And it, this program will always be a great tool set in my workflow. It's never going anywhere. And I want to take a second to thank Pixel Logic for creating a beautiful tool, always, always innovating, always one-upping themselves every time they release a ZBrush. This is a program I can never work, live without. And one other thing too, while you're in my Boolean, I can also do stuff like um, I can move the model around. I, I can move it around like this, and every and everything and everything is still intact. Everything's still Booleaned. If I turn this off, you see all the crazy little pieces on there. It's, it's like an erector. It's like an erector set. You know, that's like well, like Play-Doh that you that you um, put together. So we're done and everything. Oh, let me show you one more thing. Let me um let me go ahead and add um let me go ahead and just um I'll duplicate this slice slice piece here. I'll duplicate it and it will and right and also too in ZBrush we duplicate the sub tool and it'll return to um union mode by default. So let's go ahead and uh, move this around the gizmo. This gizmo is great, this gizmo is awesome, I love it, how it works. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, this, I'm gonna move this up a little bit. Uh, there we go. And by the way, you move it around a little bit, you see a little <laughs> like a ghost effect. It's cutting through the piece there. That's actually that's because the other pieces are set to um, subtract. So I have this here set in union mode. Hit the Q key to turn it off. And right now, I want let's, to let's, let's say I want to put this model. I want to go ahead and take my Boolean meshes and you know get get ready get ready for the game. So basically, I go ahead and hit this button here called um, D DS div, which means it tells ZBrush to to bake down any dynamic subdivision on our model, which is great. You know we don't want to ruin your model yet. Oh, one other thing too is I want this little button here. I'll start. This tells ZBrush to start the booting process from here. Go all the way down, all the other tools, and we hit we hit another mesh. It hit start. It does it all over again and keeps going. This start this start function here also also tells ZBrush that during the bake process. To, 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 keep, to keep this as a sub tool. So I'm gonna go ahead now and I'm gonna go ahead and um, just use the, um, the two pieces here, the slide with the text on it. And yes, they included a text tool, which is fantastic. You know, cause like in the past, I thought go to Photoshop and create a text and bring it in here, mask it off, paint it, no more of that. All, all this here is live Boolean. It is absolutely phenomenal what you can do in here. So I'm gonna go ahead now and bake down the booleans. And once again, I'm gonna go ahead and hit, go here, hit subdivision. And this will, this will work on all of the visible subtools. So I'm gonna hit bake, bake, bake boolean mesh, give it time. And so it's, it's gonna bake down all the union meshes. So when I finish here, I should, I should have at least two subtools when I'm done. Let's give it a second here and boom, it's all finished there. Look at that. It didn't take very long either. This is on my old laptop too, on my Asus, on my Asus laptop. And now it created two subtools. And if I go ahead and hit Shift F for polygroups, it also retained all the polygroups that are part of this. It, so I'm still trying to figure out how to make sure I get get clean polygroups or uh, pieces here. But you can hide them. You can hide the pieces. Bring it around, and you'll see how clean this really is. This is absolutely beautiful done. It looks so clean. And we go here as well. To my to my other model, the um to my um to the slide. Look at that. That is absolutely phenomenal. With very with very with very mi with minimal detail loss. If I turn on my transform and my my lines, look at that. All of this with minimal detail loss. If I were to bring this right now, to Substance Painter or 
or even does even mode of free topology, you will see all of this detail intact, absolutely beautiful. I mean, in past versions of ZBrush, this would have been very painful to model. Millions of polygons, no way to get that detail retained like this. And like I said, like I said too, this also works on decimated meshes as well. I mean, I can, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm sitting here gushing right now because this tool has been in my tool set for the last 11 years. It has never let me down. You know, and, and hopefully, with, and hopefully with ZBrush, ZBrush 5 on the horizon, I can only imagine what Pixel Logic has in mind for version 5. So, that was enough out of me. I was want to show you a quick video tutorial on this, how, how well it works. And I encourage you all to go out there and play with this thing. It is, if anything, this is Zero Mesher and um, Zero Mesher and all the tools in ZBrush that are very powerful. This is probably the, the most powerful tool set I've ever used for modeling hard edge surfacing, including weapons, staffs, you name it. Um, I've also done this same model with, with our modal procedurals, and while it was great, it, it created a topology that I didn't necessarily like. This here is self-destructive. Sorry, non-destructive. <laughs> it's all this. Now I see this being used well for 3D printing, which I'm which I'm looking to get into in a couple of weeks. And basically, this this Boolean tool is highly helpful for 3D printing. I recommend everyone to look at this and, and have a have have a go have a go at it. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful tool. So without further ado, I'm gonna thank you all for taking the time to watch this video. Um, if you liked it, leave a like for me. If you hated it, leave a dislike. You know, leave a comment below any questions you may have or say hey and of course subscribe to my channel man i'm always i'm also gonna have very great stuff to show um i'm also planning episode four of my series which is like beautiful this is like gonna be really, well, be a whole lot of fun creating that series and also also feel free to follow me on my other channels i'm, I'm on art station on instagram twitter and the facebook page for the official care graphics page if you follow follow all of those for updates on my channel you know it's gonna be really really fun so without further ado this is Kashi from Carol Graphics saying, have a wonderful evening. God bless you. See you next time. Goodbye.